couple of other artists that come to hang out, like Nas came through. Cause every time people walk up my steps, they get there, they like, yeah, you really on some Shaolin. Buster came through, he was like, it's like Kill Bill coming to your house. Yo, what's up? It's my buddy Paul Banks right here. And this is the RZA, AKA Bobby Steels. Yeah, we formed a, a band or a group called Banks and Stills, where we took our talents of making music, producing music, songwriting, singing and rapping, and put together an album that's called Anything But Words. I remember when, uh, when Tyler first asked me to, uh, to meet you, it was basically to meet another cool New York musician. I met you down at the tequila bar. From there, we kind of hit it off, and I was like, uh, you want to go get some noodles? <laughs> and then we started playing chess together. I found out you was a chess player, and I'm always looking for chess challenges. And uh, after a few rounds of chess, I think, I don't know who suggested it, that me and you record a demo or jam together. Just jam, yeah. 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 The record we put together if I was to uh, describe it to, uh, you know, to, to, to the fans or to the audience, it's foundated with that New York sound, but I think we transcended it, you know, because we took the record other places, right? Yeah, I think that there's like, <clears throat> I think there's an LA element too, and I think we both kind of like, there's California rock that speaks to both of us. But I think, yeah, I mean, our DNA as musicians is, is New York. It's hard to describe what the energy of New York music is, but I think it's, it's always got edge. You always got an edge is a great, way to, a great word to use because the city is a fast-paced city. Even if you look at uh, our song, um, Speedway Sonora, which captures California, but yet my rhyme style, my grittiness, I shot the wolf with a silver bullet. That's, that's that New York. That's, 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 not, that's not no laid back. Concrete jungle? Yeah, that's concrete jungle talk right there. You know what I mean? When people look at New Yorkers as being kind of tough or kind of standoffish, I think it's because if you're... If you're walking around like fucking Port Authority or like in the 40s in the West Side and someone comes up and is overly friendly to you on the sidewalk, <laughs> if you're a New Yorker, that means like, dude, step you know, away. Step, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. want anything to do with, that shit. Yeah, with whatever it is that you're selling because you're coming up to me with a smile. And that's bad fucking news in this city. New Yorkers aren't jaded or angry or mean or anything. They're just sort of guarded because it kind of is a jungle and there's predators in New York City. So I think you might... New Yorkers might seem a little bit, you know, yeah. uh, edgier than they are, but it's really just sort of defense mechanisms of being in that jungle. I mean, Brooklyn, I grew up in Brooklyn. You know, I grew up in a time when you couldn't walk down the street in Brooklyn with anything of value. I went back to Brooklyn this summer, but I haven't been down there in years, right? As far as this particular area, Red Hook, Greenpoint, you know, Red Hook, you listen to the old Wu-Tang records, there's a line where you're just like, and brothers shooting off the rooftops with two Glocks. It's like, Red Hook is where they shoot at you off the roof. That's what it's known for, all right? <laughs> but when I first landed, yo, it was nighttime. So I get to the hotel, and I, I have to run out to the deli, the deli to get something, you know, some late night snack. And as I'm walking down the street, I'm walking, thinking I'm in Brooklyn, like the old Brooklyn. So I'm kind of, my chest is up, I'm looking like this, I'm diddy bopping. I'm checking, you know, checking out, like, oh, you know, I'm making sure anything pop off, I'm ready for it. You know what I mean? And I, I go to the store, I walk in the store, I'm still kind of energy tough up, walking in the store, man, looking at me like, what's going on, you know what I mean? I buy my thing, I walk back, you know what I mean? Nothing, <laughs> right? The next morning I get up and I'm walking again, and it's the nicest place in the world. Right. People walking their dogs. Like in tea shops. I, yeah, I hear the bird chirping. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. So it's changed dramatically, and but yet it's changed for the better. You know, we rehearsed at St. Mark's in Crown Heights. Yeah, that, is that Crown Heights? That's Crown Heights. Area, okay. It don't even sound, it don't yeah. feel like Crown Heights, no. right? No, no, now it's, you know, fucking MILF town. <laughs> Baby is that town. MILF? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> and you were driving. Yeah, that's when I drove, right? Driving the Woo, Woo Hummer. Oh, yeah. I should have gave it to a museum. I gave it to my sister, and she just, I don't know if she sold it or, or what she did with it. That was a nice car. I liked, I remember the Woo logo in the, in the headrests. 
You know what's so cool about the humble? I bet you the person who got it don't even know that inside it, there's a stash box. Oh, yeah? You got to hit three different buttons at one time, and then it'll open up. Yeah, I wonder if the guy will ever find it by accident. Like, oh, shit. It might still be something in the stash box. <laughs> Once I went to China, I never drove Because your again. license expired and you didn't want to renew it? Every day to work, I, we almost had an accident every day. It's like almost having an accident is part of driving. I mean, even when my other cast members came over, they said it. They almost had three accidents this morning. I said, yeah, don't worry, it's gonna always be almost. So, but why did that, why did you stop driving when you got back from that? I don't know, I just kind of gave up the whole idea of it, the whole stress of it, the whole, hmm, let's let it go, you know what I mean? What I do missing about driving, I kind of miss that experience of doing 120 with good music playing. You know Joe Walsh? You know that song, Life's Been Good to Me? Uh huh. Do you know that one? Life's been good to me so far. And he mentions his Maserati. The lyric is My Maserati goes 185. I lost my license, now I can't drive. He's right. It nice. does go 185. <laughs> <laughs> On our record, right? You do get a different emotions. Collaborations, we got, uh, we got Keith, Cool Keith. Cool Keith, classic MC. Got Master Killer, Method Man, Ghost, MCs. <laughs> Ghostface. Ghostface. <clears throat> and then from the rock side of things, it's not often mentioned, but we have Nick Zinner from the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs doing a little guitar, a little oh, guitar okay. cameo. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's, he does a wham. And uh, we got Florence Welch. She's a star. She's a star, I guarantee. You know, I have a daughter who's, you know, 15 years old, actually. I have a 15 year old daughter. And she loves her. You know, she's not into my music yet because she's you know, 15 years old. Because her mom told her that I did a song with Florence and now she's all into my music. <laughs> it's like I got a, a, a daddy point by doing this, by having Florence on a yeah. song with us. And that's, that's cool, y'all. That's super cool. And, um, and people are asking us, you know, is this a one-off or will we do it again? What do you think? I mean, I'd do it again. Yeah. Definitely, but yeah, I like you kind of use the economics, you know, uh, metaphor and say if there's a demand, we will supply. Exactly. And I think that you know, that's that's, that's how I see yeah. it. I would do it for fun, <laughs> but you know, for, we do this one for fun, man. I'm keeping this guy on ice for you. We got I mean, we have <laughs> how many? We have 20, 20 songs that are, oh, you know, eligible to be on another release. That. I would like to finish. So we got a, we got some joints in the stash. So and imagine the video for for Beast. Oh, Beast out of water. Yeah, that that, video, that song would have rocked London. That's like you know what I mean. I could feel that's like the, for the Jamaican neighborhoods in London, or the whole UK and Jamaica. This song we got called Beast out of water. It's just it's just sit back and yeah, light one up. Left just, field. Yeah. That song. Wow, I forgot about that one.